That's a look at the Gold Star Bridge, and it is about to get a makeover. And Governor Malloy made a big announcement about the future of that bridge this afternoon, and News 8 was there to find out more. Here's News 8's Tina Detel. As you can see, traffic is already starting to pick up here along I-95, which it often does on a Friday afternoon in the summertime. And that's why a lot of folks would like to see this two-lane highway expanded to three lanes. And the upcoming work announced for that bridge there over Route 161 could drive that change. It's all part of a 30-year transportation plan, starting with two bridges along the shoreline. This Niantic bridge will be improved and enhanced. Enhancements that will allow enough room to add a third travel lane in each direction across uh, southeastern Connecticut. I am committed to that. And so are these local state lawmakers who stood behind the governor in his plan to expand. The Sunday traffic uh, that we have during tourist season can be atrocious. The traffic will back up over the bridge right here uh, and you throw an accident in the mix and it makes it even worse. The Niantic Bridge repairs will total $50 million while improvements needed for the Gold Star Memorial Bridge will total $221 million. Most of that for the northbound side built in 1940. While it is safe, it is structurally deficient. The governor says new monies like dedicating half a cent of the state sales tax to transportation will help pay for repairs. By the end of 10 years, that lockbox should be receiving about $472 million more to support transportation. Infrastructure improvements expected to help steer more businesses to the area. I think people will want to see uh, the state investing in its infrastructure, and I think that would make a difference. Construction on these projects is expected to begin no later than 2018. In the Niantic section of East Lyme, Tina Detell, News 8.